Next up in our procurement module of ConnectWise Manage or ConnectWise PSA, we're going to be looking at the purchasing screen. So this is the screen where all of your products will show if you have not turned on purchasing approvals. If you're not using purchasing approvals, then any product which is on a service ticket, a project or a sales order will show up here. If you were using purchasing approvals, you did need to approve them from this screen, which is covered in another video. Once we're in the purchasing screen, we can see all the items which need to be purchased for this up until this date. As a rule, I like to see this screen blank. So if your purchaser is up to date and everyone is indicating when they need their products and your system is clean, your purchasing screen should have nothing on it. How you get to that is by taking your products and creating purchase orders as needed. There are a few mistakes or things that I tend to see happen in the purchasing screen, and we're going to go through one of them today, which is that sometimes your company might be a bit overzealous using the special order mark. And what special order does is it indicates that a product is special order and will not pull from any on hand quantity. When this happens, what I see is that the purchaser buys products which are already on hand, not using the system correctly. And sometimes these special orders should be questioned. So one of the views I like to start with is an on hand view, just to review at a high level, all the products which have on hand stock. I'm going to go into the view section and I'm going to create a view called on hand. For he this, I'm going to share it with everyone and I'm going to go ahead and look at the on hand quantity being greater than zero. I'll run it to make sure that this is filtering the information I want, which it is, and I'll hit save. Before purchasing, I would go through this on hand view and find out from the project manager or the technician if these products really are special order or if I could pull from an on hand stock. If I need to find out where these products are coming from, I'm going to scroll over and find my charge to column. This column should be here, but if not, you can go into your customize view list, find your charge to, and move it from the hidden column into the visible column. Once it's here, I like to bring that all the way over. The charge to is going to tell me where the product is coming from and who I can ask in regards to finding out if this is a special order item. This is just one of the views and ways that you can implement in your ConnectWise system to make sure you're not buying products you already have.